Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and in this video, I will show you how to install and set up the best Game Boy and Game Boy Color overlays for the Mio Mini Plus that focus on realistic emulation of how the original device's screens look. As with my other overlay video, I recommend trying these yourself, as while recording them may introduce artifacting and they will look a lot better in person. These overlays come from the Reddit user named One Player Insert Coin. In the description, I will have a link to the original Reddit post and direct links to download the overlay files. In their post, they say they have spent a long time working on these overlays. So I do want to say thank you for working on them and also sharing them with the community, as these are the best overlays that I have found for these devices. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's start by clicking on the overlay Google Drive links in the description. You will then want to click on the option to download all files as a zip file, or you can download each one individually. While those files are downloading, you will need to connect your SD card to your computer. Then once the files are downloaded, go ahead and extract them if they are zipped. We will navigate to the Game Boy Overlays folder on the SD card by opening RetroArch, then dot RetroArch, then Overlay, then the GB GBC folder. Open the Mio Mini GBC Overlay folder that we have extracted and drag all the files into the GB GBC folder on the SD card. Next, we go into the Mio Mini DMG folder, drag all the files except the default PAL file. We will be placing the default PAL somewhere else. Once we have all of those files moved, go back to the root folder on your SD card and open up the BIOS folder. Drag the default.pal file into the folder called Palettes. If you do not have that folder here, just make a new one like this and then drag it in. All right, that's it for adding the files. We can now eject the SD card and place it back on the device. Next, we're going to set up and enable these overlays. Let's start with the Game Boy one. So start up a Game Boy game. Open up the RetroArch menu by hitting the function button plus select. Select on screen overlay, then overlay preset. If there's anything here, you can click start to clear it out. Go to the GBGBC folder and select perfect DMG EX.CFG. You can then toggle the RetroArch menu to make sure it has been set. You can hit function button plus start to make sure that the picture is correctly centered. Then let's go back into the RetroArch menu, back out to the quick menu and select core options. Here we will change the GB colorization to custom slash external file, as this will make use of that .pal file we added to the BIOS folder. Make sure interframe blending is set to simple. After that, we can save these settings by going to Manage Core Options at the top and selecting Save Content Directory Options. Then we will back out to the Quick Menu again, go to Overrides, and select Save Content Directory Overrides. That is it for Game Boy. A thing to note is that this overlay works best with lower brightness, usually between 1 and 3, but ultimately, Whatever looks best to you is what matters. Now let's move over to Game Boy Color. Start up a Game Boy Color game, go into the RetroArch menu, go to On Screen Overlay, Overlay Preset, GB GBC Folder, and select Perfect GBC.CFG. Now back to the Quick Menu and select Core Options. Here we will set GB colorization to GBC, set color correction to GBC only, make sure color correction mode is set to accurate. Now for color correction front light position, if you want more realistic Game Boy Color colors, select above screen, and if you want more darker vibrant colors, select central. Make sure inner frame blending is set to simple, then we'll go to the manage core options at the top, and select Save Content Directory. Then as before, we will back out to the Quick Menu, select Override, and select Save Content Directory Overrides. All right, and now that's everything for the Game Boy Color. If you want to take this one step further, 
One player insert coin recommends changing the color profile of the Mio Mini to get the colors just right. This is not required. However, if you want to try it, you will go to the settings, then display, and set luminance to 7, keep hue at 10, set saturation to 14, and set contrast to 18. Once you back out, it will recommend you restart your device. Now this will affect your whole device, so if you notice that you don't like how it looks for other game systems, you can always switch it back. Now, one player insert coin has said that they are a fan of the more minimal frames. While I personally like the Dark Horse frames from my other overlay video, so I took it upon myself to make a couple overlays that combine the player one insert coin with the Dark Horse frames. I hope they don't mind that I did this, and I do want to make it clear that Dark Horse and one player insert coin deserve all the praise for these, as all I did was combine them with Photoshop. I will add a link to them in the description below, and you can install them the same way we did with the other files, just dragging them into the GBGBC folder that's located in the Overlays folder on your SD card. I like the Game Boy Color one for sure. I'm still torn on using the Game Boy one, as the original one with the black borders makes the screen pop a little more. But I wanted to share these in case anyone wants to try them. So, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more content from Virex Techs, and as always, thank you for watching.